This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I wanted to give you guys a, a little lowdown on pulse charging batteries. Now a lot of times you get in a battery like this and it's actually sulfated really bad. So it's not, I mean it's holding the charge um, somewhat, but the, the plates are sulfated inside so if you put that on a conventional charger it's not going to charge that battery it's knocking the residue off of the plates and that's going to allow it to eventually once it's clean to take a good charge and hold it so I wanted to show you something here this this battery is pretty bad sulfated and if I just, I'm not hooked up to this back battery right now. I'm only hooked up to the battery in the front. So I'm going to start this pulse motor and show you what's happening. Okay, now you can see it's climbing like crazy, right? The battery is uh, not really taking that charge, and that will fry your chips. So what you do is you use a second battery that you know can take the voltage as a shunt. Now listen. Did you hear the difference? Listen to the motor. Now the charge dropped. Now most of the current is actually flowing into the back battery. But the front battery is re receiving that pulse charge. Even the motor's going faster. It's climbing. And what I need to do is let that battery run in parallel with the, the good battery to the point where the plates are desulfated. You want to use a good battery as a shunt and when you feel it's right, start the motor up at a lower RPM. Don't just yank off the back battery because you could pop a chip doing that because the current isn't going into the battery and that's why the battery charger don't work. Use a battery as a shunt. A lot of times you can save these batteries where it doesn't seem like they're charging at first. Letting it sit and run on a battery hooked up as a shunt, you might still be able to save that battery even though you know it's it's really damaged inside and it's debatable whether you'll you'll get it to work but you know that's the best way to do it and anytime I'm hooking a battery up that I've never hooked up before I always do this because I want to be sure that I'm not going to fry my charger I hook it up this way and as if the back battery is fully charged it's trying to push current into the front battery even harder so you know it, it comes to a point where if it works great if it doesn't it's not going to be salvageable by any charger, you know, so just keep that in mind when you're running your, your little Bedini motors and you're trying to salvage batteries. Sometimes it's good to use a shunt battery as a secondary battery in parallel to keep from damaging your motor. It's something to consider.